Well folks, this is part two of the building itself, your own uh, garden railway. On the cheap there. But it's just been absolutely raining like there's no tomorrow. So the track's a bit wet. Come on. So it's just finding a bit of the traction a bit hard going. Oh, we're off now. Let's get right down again. As you can see, look at the water all over it. Look, it struggles up there when it's wet though. Go on, you can do it. It's getting drier, so it's, it's doing all right. Go on. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know. Let's get through here again. Remember this bit. If you're wondering about the houses, folks, um, these are Sylvanian families. Have you ever heard of Sylvanian families? Just Google it and look at the houses. Look at the detail. I mean, you just can't beat the detail for that. Eventually, I'm going to put like uh, lights inside and things like that. And I'm going to do another video soon as well when I've nearly finished this railway. I've still got a few more things to do. Like I say, I want to go further down there. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold on, folks. Let's switch that off for a second. Because it's so in so wet, the train has uh, decided to go a different way uh, where the boxcars are, as you can see here. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying before, the Sylvanian families, if you check that out, the houses are exactly the same for G scale. So there's the thought for you. <laughs> anyway, look at the track. Uh, the only thing is, I've noticed with the track, it's really good stuff, but the only thing is when it's wet, really, which really should have waited for it till dry, uh, the train will struggle, as you can see there. I should have let the train run round without the carriage. Um, I've made these little things here, see out bits of wood. Uh, ballast blockade things or whatever you call it for the embankment there to stop it rolling down onto that's going to be a flower bed I didn't want it to look dead neat because real life's not like that uh, like I say there are the houses and to make some street lights or some lamps you just go and get some cheap uh, so all the lights the lighthouse actually does light up and revolves and uh, all good stuff and if you want some more information or you want to know where you can get the track and the rolling stock and the engines from anything like that there you go east coast railways they'll sort you out and that's their number there it's 077 480 okay and then they'll uh, sort you out with a ray of rolling stock and there's all sorts you can get there from track, engines, locomotives uh, the carriages that you see here, the carriages, these box cars but they also do other stuff as well um, this is Carl Scopters, I'd like to say thanks for watching and don't forget, uh, I'll show you next time oh also, here's another tip make sure it's a bit higher than your grass level your railway that's always uh, because when you're cutting the grass and stuff like that, you don't want it to too disturb. But this is this is what it looks like now. I'm going to do another video again, once again, once it gets a bit warmer, and I'll do a bit more detail. Because over there, I want to build something there as well, because I want to use as much space as I can, possibly can. 
and I also want to make this train solar powered so that way it will start itself and stop itself uh, without me doing anything to it so let's pan back a bit actually hold on I've got an idea just have to look at the lighthouse for a sec folks okay really need to avoid walking on your railway as much as you can really let's just see how it goes now okay here it goes this is just a cheap battery operated version oh yeah it's drying out nicely that track it's climbing up there no problem oh can't believe I forgot that There we go. So there's that number again. Hey. Let's pan right out there. Let's get further back. Right out here now. Okay, thanks very much, folks.